uh, this is a conversion you have to convert aniline to chlorobenzene so how will you do this one so this is a easy problem convert allyl to chlorobenzene 30 seconds time So you can use the disonium reaction that is in a fint. You can fast from disonium cation and then you take something so that you can finally have Cl attached. If the copper salt then it is called Sandmeyer reaction. Yeah, you are right. So what we will do is we have this aniline. Now first this aniline is treated with NNA2 at Cl, if you remember we have discussed this reaction in class NNA2HCl, it fast forms a disonium and if the temperature is low that is around 0 degree centigrade basically we can separate disonium cation so N2 plus Cl minus I will get so this is N2 plus and Cl minus and now in the next step so if you treat with CuCn disonium cation is treated with CuCn or in this case I need Cl so CuCl copper chloride so this is a cuprous chloride Cu plus Cl minus and if you add this compound finally we will have chlorobenzene so Cl minus attack on disonium ion and finally you can add a Cl group here so this is the final product this is a one step conversion easy conversion let us discuss the next problem so again this is a conversion you have to convert 4 nitro aniline so you have been given 4 nitroaniline to convert 1, 2, 3 tribromobenzene. So let us do this conversion. Take some time. Okay, so you have to convert, you have to add 3 bromine. So NS2, NO2 group is initially there. But now finally you don't have any NS2 or NO2. You have 3 bromine group that is attached. Now this ring is basically active ring because there is NS2 group attached. NO2 is a deactivator but NS2 is highly a strongly activator. So I can assume this ring is a activator. So let us first do halogenation reaction. So you have NH2 here and NO2 here, only important point you have the para position is blocked so if you do halogenation that is FeVr2 so if you add FeVr2 what you will have now this bromine gets attached to this carbon and this carbon because these are the ortho carbon para position is blocked so what you will have, you have to add two bromine group at ortho position so let us say you have here NH2 and then one bromine gets attached to at this position another bromine gets attached at this position and then you have NO2 are you getting and now next you can do is you can put this bromine one another bromine here that is you require 1 2 3 so you can create 1 2 3 bromine only thing is you first make disonium ion so treat with NNA2HCl that will give you disonium cation NNA2HCl and if you treat with CuBr that is a copper salt of bromine so CuBr you will have here bromine so let us say you can attach one bromine here and two bromines are at one position and this is at this position and now this thing next is you have to lose this NO2 group and that you can do deamination so first you form this reduce this NH, NO2 to NH2 that is SNHCl reducing agent if you remember and the next is S3PO2 so S3PO2 will first it will be formed uh, I mean SNHCl will convert it to NH2 and then you have to use NNA2HCl that will form disonium cation NNA2HCl so the second reagent is NNA2HCl and the third reagent you have to use that is that disonium cation form that will be replaced by hydrogen if you use S3PO2 did you remember or not? So if you use S3PO2, finally this is converted into hydrogen. So finally we will have 3 bromine, 1, 2, 3, tribromobenzene. So you will have one bromine group here, another bromine group here, and next bromine here. So you have to remember if you use S3PO2, the disonium is 
replaced by hydrogen so you make it as a nucleotide so what you will have you will have n2 plus this is stable convert into nh2 this is stable convert into n2 plus and this is step n2 plus will be finally replaced by one hydrogen so you will have simply one hydrogen attached to this carbon simple one are you getting so h3po2 can be used to replace diazonium with hydrogen simple one Let us discuss the next problem. So this is a quite easy problem.